Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. It's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. I always love these cloudy days. It's really nice for working outside in the garden and in your yard. Well, anyhow, it's now early July. And so, you know, the plants have really been growing out in the garden really nice. They've been thriving and flourishing. And so today I thought I would take you on a tour in my pumpkin patch area below the pond. And I wanted to give you an update on the Mammoth Table Queen Royal Acorn Squash. And that's what they look like. So let's go see how they're growing in my raised beds. So let's head on down alongside the pond here and we'll cross the little walk bridge up here. You come in with us, Bailey? Come on. And so down below the pond here I have four raised planter beds I had repurposed some picnic tables out of a couple years ago. And this is where I plant a lot of my pumpkins, melons, different squashes. But they have a lot of room to grow and spread out down here. And so this acorn squash plant is right here on the end of this raised planter bed. Now this raised planter bed is about 24 by 48. This is, has an interesting story to it. I first built this at, for my three daughters, Julie, Heather, and Emily years ago when they were little and it used to be a play a place to keep your their toys and so I had it sitting around for years I built this out of cedar and so what I did is I just took the bottom out of it and took the top off it and now I'm using it as a raised planter uh, I really like to repurpose things out in the garden so anyhow this plant right here is the acorn squash that I direct sowed there in May and it's just really coming along really nice and you know these uh, different plants like your squash and your melons they like a at least a good six eight hours of of sun so you want to make sure you know they definitely receive that much and I direct sow these in my composted leaf mulch amended with topsoil and you can see they're starting to send out some runners they have a few flower blossoms up here and so I would say in another month or so you know we'll be able to have some of our acorn squash and we just love our acorn squash you know we fill them with rice and beans and different sauces or flavorings and they're just really delicious and so let me encourage you to think about growing some acorn squash in your vegetable garden it's something really easy to do I would always encourage gardeners to direct sow a lot of their vegetables out in their garden. It's something that I I do with most of my plants is direct sow. I also do buy some transplants from Ray's Nursery nearby. So anyhow, that pretty much completes our garden update on our acorn squash. And so I just want to thank you for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. It is a beautiful day. It's always a nice time to be out in the garden working out in the garden gets you away from all the stresses of life and just being out in nature and listening to the birds and so anyhow if you have any questions or comments about this video please feel free to leave them in this section below and you could also visit us on our website at plantsmartliving.com so anyhow i hope you have a wonderful day until next time this is plant smart living with farmer fred